What's up you guys, it's Jono! Welcome to another episode of my Pokemon Legends Arceus request series. Today we're on request number 39, all about Magikarp. Magikarp is a fan favorite Pokemon. It is one of my favorite Pokemon. It even got its very own video game, Magikarp. Jump! And of course we have Magikarp up on top of the Galaxy Headquarters. There's a little Easter egg related to this Magikarp on top of the Headquarters. I'm going to save that for the end of the video so be sure and watch until the end because it is quite fascinating. There's a little tiny Easter egg inside Sanqua's house during a previous request and I will show footage of that later on so be sure to stay tuned. Alright you guys so in order to complete this request CC wants to see the completed Magikarp Pokedex entry. That is not a perfect Pokedex entry. It's only level 10. Don't worry. You don't have to perfect the Magikarp entry, which I personally have done. And watching Magikarp use the splash 100 times takes forever. It took absolutely forever. So don't do that one. But I am going to show you a quick way to get all of the level 10 research done for Magikarp. So let's get started. First off, I do recommend to come and talk to Anvin and buy crafting supplies. You should buy some hearty grains. If you're not far enough in the game to where you can actually buy these hearty grains, you can find them on the ground in the Crimson Mirelands. They're not too hard to find. They're near the main base camp sitting around the water by the Badoo that spawn over there. But anyway, just get yourself some hearty grains. That's going to save you just a little bit of time. Now, I did have a big issue with feeding Magikarp, and I'll talk about that in just a second once we get to that part of the video but I actually couldn't feed Magikarp and I figured out a trick to make it happen so I'll talk about that in just a second first off let's just fly over to Magikarp's location there's quite a few locations where you can find Magikarp but I think that at any level of the game no matter where you are in the game you should be able to access this area and you'll find quite a few Magikarp in this area there are other places that you could go to but I believe you need to be able to fly to get to those other places so I did not include them in the video but but they include the lake that is in Obsidian Fieldlands and maybe some other areas as well. Magikarp is a very common spawn and you can find it all over the place. Now this is what I was talking about you guys. I have thrown Magikarp its favorite food and it will not go for the food. I believe it is because Magikarp has spotted me. So if you want to do this feeding Magikarp research, then you'll have to not be spotted by Magikarp. Obviously Magikarp is looking right at me so it has no interest in the food. And you can confirm right here on the Pokedex that Magikarp's favorite food is the hearty grain so I really don't understand why it won't eat the grains but I'm pretty sure it's because Magikarp had spotted me and if you want to do it you just got to crouch and make sure they haven't spotted you possibly even use a smoke bomb and stand on those little islands that you see there or stand off on the shore if you can't get to the islands but yeah Magikarp just did not want to eat that food I thought I would get some really quick research by throwing Magikarp the food and of course I wasted the money on the food and Magikarp you can see is just swimming right through the food going right past it it has no interest in the food so that was a little bit tricky. Now, luckily, it doesn't take very much research to get to level 10 with Magikarp. You can catch about 12 to 15 of them. You could even evolve a couple of Magikarp, which isn't very difficult at all. But I really thought I was going to get some easy research done by feeding it, and it just didn't work out. So be aware that that might be a little bit harder to do if you want to try to feed Magikarp. I do recommend to make sure it does not spot you first. But here you can see we did not have to do very much research in order to get the level 10. I did manage to feed one Magikarp some food. After all those tries, I only got one. I caught about 12 of them, and throughout the course of catching 12 of them, I did get both forms, which is male and female. You can tell the female Magikarp because they have the white whiskers, so that really wasn't too hard. I do recommend to just go catch a bunch of them. That's probably the easiest way to do it, and if you catch all the Magikarp and you're looking for more Magikarp, just go set the time to nighttime, and then more Magikarp will appear, and once you catch all those, you can set the time back to day, and more Magikarp should appear. It's a pretty easy way to get the spawns to reset on the map and they will be brand new Magikarp as long as you caught all of the other ones so you do have a chance to get a shiny as well. Now here we go CC is talking about how Senqua wanted to make Gyarados statues on top of the galaxy headquarters. That's a little bit of an easter egg and I'm going to show you that easter egg here in just a second once we get through this request and complete the request which we've got done. Now this is a really good request because CC does give you a rare candy which is awesome. That's a great reward. Make sure you save those rare candies for later in the game when your Pokemon are around level 90, maybe even 85 or so. Those levels take a ton of experience to get through and the rare candies will get you right through those in a snap. 
Now let's go ahead and talk about that Easter egg that I mentioned earlier in the video. Head over to Sanqua's house. You don't actually have to do this because nothing will happen and I'm going to show you the Easter egg because you cannot look at the Easter egg anymore. It's already gone so if you didn't look at it that's too bad but you can see it here on my video. Now right here is the drawing table for Sanqua and inside her chest of drawers she does have some papers or at least she used to have some papers. The footage you're looking at here is from an earlier request which was request number 16 called strange happenings at midnight if you recall this request we went into senkwa's house and we found the little pichu that was disturbing her sleep and if you check around you can see that she's got a whole bunch of drawing papers that show magikarp on top of the galaxy headquarters it's just a little itty bitty tiny easter egg but it's funny how they mentioned it in a previous request and then they mentioned it again during this request now i think it would be way cooler if they actually had gyarados on top of the galaxy headquarters but that wasn't the case and I love Magikarp so that's pretty cool too so anyway that's going to be it for this request you guys just a real simple request here not too long hopefully it didn't take you forever to complete this one it actually did take me forever it took me about 20 minutes to complete this one because of all the confusion that I went through but hopefully I made it easier for you thanks everybody for watching my video thank you to all of my amazing subscribers and peace